Hello, welcome to the GeoDev demo video. GeoDev stands for Geometry Debugger, and it's a small, simple C++ library that you can use to visualize or debug computational geometry problems. By adding a few, um, few debug lines to your program, you can end up with a visualization like the one on the screen. So on the right, you see the program, and on the left, you see the drawing, what the program is outputting. And then you can uh, look at it step by step and see uh, what's going on in the context of the, of the program. So in this video, I want to show you how to get started with the library. And I'll be solving a relatively standard problem of finding the convex hull for a set of points in the plane. So over here, I've already installed the library. What it means is that I've downloaded the geodev.h to the directory that I'm programming in. And I also have two input files. There is number n and then endpoints. Okay, so here we are. Let's read the input first. We'll need a struct to hold the data, just x and y. And then we'll just input the data. The points are integers and we'll add all the points into the vector. Okay, so now we can already use the library to display the input to see what the points look like. To do that, we include the geodep.h that's in the directory. We call gd init at the beginning of the program to specify the output file debug.html and you'll see what uh, it will look like and then we just call gd point for every point in the input let's try to compile this okay and let's run it on the first input okay so the program is outputting something it's just the points and what's more important is that we now have this debug.html. So we can open it up in the browser. And they, there they are. So these are the points that we've read. On the right, this is our program. So it's not doing anything else right now. And in order to solve the problem, what we want to do first is find the leftmost point, so this one. And then we want to sort all the other points uh, by the angle and we're going to do it counterclockwise, so this way. Okay, so let's go with that. To sort the points, um, I'm going to... To find the leftmost point, I'm just going to sort everything. So let's just sort by the x-coordinate. And we're going to break ties by the y coordinate. And then the first point is the O origin. So that's the leftmost point. Now we can sort all the other points by the angle and we'll need a helper function for that. So this one will take three points. And then it's going to return minus one if when you walk from A to B to C, you have to turn left at point B or one if you have to turn right at point B or zero if the points are on the same line. And to do that, you can just use the cross product of two vectors like this. Okay, and then we return the sign of this product. And then we can use this helper function to sort all the other points. So not the first one. So we just return whether when whether when we walk from A from O to A to B, 
we have to turn left. If we're turning left, that's the right order. Okay, so now we can visualize this to make sure that we've sorted the points in the expected order. What I can do is just draw a segment from the origin to every other point. So GD segment from O to the point I. And let's do it in a gray. Uh, one thing that I want to do, I want to add pause here. Just so that we see the input first and then we're draw, gonna draw in the next frame. So let's see. Okay, so it compiled and it ran and then we just refresh. So this is the input, there's a pause that I've just added and then when you click next frame, then this is the, the these are the segments that we drew. So to check that things are actually sorted in the order that I planned, I can uh, take these smaller steps and see that indeed the segments are drawn in the correct order. Okay, so now to do to find the convex hull, the algorithm tells us that we should process the points in this order, uh, so like this, and then maintain the convex hull of the set of points that we've already processed. So when we're over here, we know that the convex hull of all these points below, uh, we know what the convex hull is, and then when we want to add this point, it's actually easy to maintain it. So we just look at the end of the hull, and we see that we would take a turn right here, and that wouldn't be convex anymore. So we have to remove this point, and that point, and so on. So let's code this. Uh, first, let's add another pause here, just... And let's add the origin to the set of points for drawing purposes. Okay, so now we'll maintain the, the convex hull, initialized with point O. So we process all the other points in the same order. We are looking at point P. And then we may want to remove something from the hull if, if it's not looking good. So if there are at least two points, let's take the last two points. And then let's look when we walk from A to B to P. If we are turning right, that's not good. So if we're turning left, that's good. Uh, break. And if we're turning right, we have to remove the final point on the hull. So hull pop back. Now we're, we're here. We know that the, the walk from A to B to P was turning left. So we can add P to the convex hull. And this is the algorithm. So now we can try to visualize it, how it's, uh, what it's doing and how it's, how it's doing it. So I'm going to add a function draw here. That's going to draw the situation when we're looking at point I. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to first call GD layer. And what this does is it, it creates a temporary layer that we can draw on and then when the function is gone, when the layer exits the scope, everything that we draw on the layer will get removed. So this way we can kind of animate the screen. So we can draw the situation at stage i and then in the next step of the for loop we're going to draw a different picture. Okay, so let's draw the convex hull. So we can do a segment. Let's color it black and bold. Okay, let's highlight the current point, for example, by drawing the line from the origin to the point. And let's make it red. And then let's also draw the segment that we would like to add. 
So the segment that goes from the final point on the hull to the current point. Let's also call it thread and bolt. Okay, so let's draw the situation in at the beginning of every loop and whenever we remove something from the hull. And let's draw the situation at the end. Once again, let's add the origin at the end and draw. Okay, let's try to run this. Compiles and runs. We refresh. And now we, we, we look at step by step. We can inspect how the algorithm works. Okay, so this is first step. This is the point that we're looking at. We can easily add it to the hull. Same goes here because this turn is to the left. And here as well. But over here, the, the tail of the hull, we have to remove the final point because we wouldn't get a convex polygon. So we do, so we do that. Once again, here, this turn is slightly to the right, so we have to remove the tail and so on. So over here, we'll, once again, we'll remove this point. And this is how the algorithm makes progress. It goes one by one, removing when we need from the tail of the hull. So this is looking good, but let's try the second input. Refresh. So this is what the second input looks like. A lot of collinear points. And let's see if our algorithm handles this correctly. So sorting looks fine but now when we run it we see that the first point it chose is actually this one kind of arbitrary but let's see if this makes any difference so if we run the algorithm okay so we see that it indeed made a mistake uh, if we run it to, to the end it seems to work fine except for the first line and the solution here is basically when we want to, when there are points on the same line, we want to order them uh, according to the distance from the origin. So we can code the, the fix quickly. So we need a distance function. Actually, let's do a square distance from point A to point B. Okay, let's return the square to distance. And now when we sort the points over here, if they're on the same line, so that would be t equals zero, then compare them by the square distance from the origin. That should be it. Let's try to run it. Refresh. And now we can see in the first step, now it selected this line, this point. And yes, so now it seems to do the right thing. OK, so that's it from, from me for this example. Uh, to download the library and read more about it, you can go to the GitHub page. Over here, there's uh, there are instructions of how to use it, what uh, functions you can use. For example, you can draw circles, segments, line, and so on. And there are examples on how to draw circles, for example. There is a very simple program over here. And that's it for me, and thanks for watching.